Hello and welcome to my channel today. I think it's my first ever kind of <laughs> drama alert video. So 300 videos, never had a drop, not a soup son of drama in my life. It's wonderful, highly recommend it. But today, despite the glorious sunshine of the morning, I woke up to a complete shitstorm. So yay, that's really great. So let's dive into the scatological unknown and really delve through that excrement today. Once upon a time, there was a content creator called Fornax who wanted to make a video about infusions. Now, this was a long, long time ago, at least on the internet, about two years. Two years, this weird little content creator wanted to make an infusions video. She even contacted the dev team of ArenaNet and said, can you please help me out? Next time I'm on the test realms, making content for patches early, do you think you could throw me a bone and let me have some infusions to just take some pictures of so that I can make a guide? And one of the devs said, sure, get in touch with this chap. So I did. So, sorry. So this content creator did. And they got in touch with the dev a couple of times, but unfortunately the dev never got in touch with them, never responded, never acknowledged their existence. So the dream died. But life goes on. The content creation must continue. So in around March of this year, Fornax, the content creator, was uh, watching Twitch. She was watching Mighty Teapot and he was on one of his many magnanimous, inspirational Captain America-style speeches about reviving the Guild Wars 2 community. Specifically, I think he was talking about competitive, but the whole thing. He wanted to show it some love, he wanted to shine a light on it, and he was working his ass off to do that. And he created the Hardstuck community. And I, I was fairly inspired. I'm not particularly an enthusiastic person. Um, and I thought, we're abandoning the story at this point. I'm sorry, I can't do it in the third person, it's too weird. So. I thought, fuck it, I'm going to help him. I, I don't have a lot of skills, but I'm not a terrible graphic designer. I'll help him. So I got in touch with him. I said, dude, I want to help. I'm not blowing sunshine up your ass. I want to help. And he's like, okay, yeah. Threw me an invite to the community. And um, after some degree pokery and some failed attempts, I made a logo that he quite liked. And he was so happy about it. He's like, can I do anything for you? And I'm like, I don't think so. I'm doing this because I want to help you, I don't want anything in return. We're both like British, so this, I'd like to help you. No, 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 it's okay. I really like to help you. No, 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 it's quite okay. No, this went on for a while because, well, British people are weird. Anyway, so finally, I succumb. I'm like, okay, yes, maybe you can help me. You have quite a big community. I've been wanting to do a big infusion showcase for a while. Well, big, you know, maybe six or seven. That would be awesome. I've got like two I can show for myself. I've got a shoulder thing and a uh, winter's heart and that kind of thing. I'd like a couple more to show off because I've never made that content before. I think it's really unique to the game and I thought it would encourage new players and old to like try this out and try and farm these things and I thought it'd be fun. I like making guides. So he's like, yeah, no problem. I think I know somebody. I think I know a guy in the community who can help you. So a day or so later he got back to me. He's like, yep, guy said he'll help you. He just needs to know what you want. And then um, a few days pass and he prods me. He's like, oh, I need the list. I'm like, oh shit, fuck. Right, okay, so I make the list out, I give it to him. He's like, okay, I'm gonna get in touch with him and I'll poke you back when I've got the stuff. I'm like, great, that's fantastic. So on the 22nd of April, he says, I have these infusions for you. And I'm like, holy shit balls. And he sent me a picture of them and they were like, I was like, holy fuck nuts, that's a lot of infusions. Wasn't expecting that many. And he's like, are you in game? So he carefully handed me the infusions. I'm like, super, I've got them. And I said to him in the Discord chat, I'm like, it's gonna take me about two weeks. And he's like, nope, that's fine. So I go away, I start capturing a bit on around about the 27th, and I send all the infusions back on the 10th of May, like there. So got them on the 22nd of April, send them back on the 10th of May. In the meantime, I make the content. Um, I'm hit and miss still with my like enthusiasm levels being like super high, right? Six scripts, super low, sitting in the corner, stare at the wall for a while. 
eat too much chocolate, that kind of thing. So I, I, get the, I get my shit together and I get it all done and I get it out on the 25th. And in the meantime, I have not looked at the internet really. I have, I have played Final Fantasy because I wanted to get through the storyline. I have avoided the real news like the plague. I have avoided Reddit like the plague because that's where I get the majority of my real news on r slash world news. I don't recommend it. It's fairly accurate, but it's deeply depressing. Um, so I've been avoiding the internet and I, occasionally I'll do like flick through Twitter and I'll like, I'll see something pretty. So I'll tweet out some art and stuff like that. That's my limit at the moment for social media interactions. I'm not trawling through the Guild Wars 2 Reddit community reading every post. I just haven't done that in ages, to be honest. So yeah, I'll blow the video. And, and then the first comment on the video was about, don't you watch other people's content? Something about duping. And I'm like, I'd never heard of, like, I mean, I've heard of dupes. So, you know, like dupe perfumes for Chanel and stuff like that. So I know what, but I, I was like, why does he think I'm copying other people's videos? I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, what? I'm like, lots of content creators in Guild Wars 2 make videos about infusions. I mean, I am super late to the game as normal. That's perfectly normal for me, but why is he? I'm confused. I'm just making videos around the same topic. Why is he calling it a dupe? I don't understand. Did somebody else make today a top 12 video of infusions? I literally searched for it on YouTube and was the only one. I was like, this is weird. But when I'm doing this, it's about four o'clock in the morning. So I'm like, I am going to bed. I am knackered. So down at the computer, go to bed and the glorious darkness takes me. And then I wake up at about nine o'clock and I come downstairs, turn my computer on and there's quite a few comments. They're not, they're not happy comments, they're not, I like this, or Fornax, you fucked up this part, you said the wrong thing here, and I go, oh, bollocks, make a correction, thank the person. Because, you know, I'm, I'm human, I fuck up, I say Ratanovus when I should say Ratazoon, I get my numbers transversed, it happens, I am a human being, but I always, I always make my content in good faith. And now people are calling me Vegeta, condoning duping, which I still didn't know what they were talking about. <laughs> um, so, sorry, I'm, I'm sat on my chair, so you can hear my squeaking of my chair. So I'm like, what the, what the actual fuck is going on? A friend of mine got in touch. He's like, I think they're talking about this. And I'm like, oh, fuck. The only reason that I knew to thank, I think I called him Casino in the video. Casino or something, I don't even know how to say his name. Old Grim. We'll, say, we'll call him Old Grim because that's the one I can pronounce. The only reason I knew who to thank for the infusions was because I asked Teapot who to credit. I wanted to give credit where credit was due because without Teapot finding the person to help me and without that person offering to help me, I wouldn't have been able to make the content. So I wanted to give credit where credit was due. I had no idea that this chap had um, made some poor choices. And so when people are upset that I've mentioned him, I can understand. And I hope that they can understand that at one, I've removed, I've edited that part of the video out. And I both understand and think I should have done it. And I, I do feel shitty about it because the guy did actually lend me the infusions when he had no reason to do so, other than being nice about it, being nice with his ill-gotten gains. Uh, <laughs> There is some moral ambiguity here in this, like it is completely wrong that he has duplicated items tilting the economy and adversely affecting people's gameplay because he has tilted the economy, making everything a bit worse for everyone else and a lot better for himself. That is deeply shitty. But was it nice of him? Should he have done that, knowing that if something went wrong, I would be implicated in his poor life choices? I mean, I think you could argue that that wasn't the best idea for him to do that. So people are accusing me of cheating. I, I don't think that that's fair. Someone sent me something, I utilized it purely to get footage of it, and then I returned it to Mighty Teapot, and then he returned it to the sender. So neither me nor Teapot are to blame for the deeply poor life choices of somebody else. Not to blame. I don't mind 
burning in the fire that I have started. If I have fucked up, then I'm happy to take responsibility. I, I, I don't I don't scapegoat. If I fucked up, I fucked up. But I'm not particularly happy being crucified next to a guy, sort of, you know, guilt by association. No, I'm, I'm not I'm not agreeing to that. So if you're calling me a cheat, you're wrong. I'm not a cheat. I'm a bit of an idiot. I'll give you that. I get things wrong. I'll give you that. I was fucking slow on the uptake as to what was going on here because I've been completely oblivious to the community news for about a year. Absolutely. You can call me ignorant 100 fucking percent. You can call me detached 100 fucking percent. I am not a cheater. And after nearly 300 videos of good faith, honest, as fact-checked as I can content, it is flawed, yes, but genuinely good intention and trying to build and support the community and the games that I love and we love together, I think that's a bit shitty that you think that I've fucked up once, but you're like, I'm going to burn you from my life. That's a tinsy when it's harsh. But hey, it's the internet. Jump to all the conclusions you like. So that's the situation I find myself in. I made content in good faith. Teapot helped me make that content and helped arrange the infusions, transfers, the back and forth in good faith, taking time out of his own work, which he does a lot of work. And I really appreciate that. I really appreciate him helping me. I, I appreciate the, the fact that someone was kind enough to lend me the infusions so I could make the content. I'm deeply sad that, that somebody made some incredibly poor life choices by duplicating items and doing all sorts of jiggery pokery assholery to have numbers on a spreadsheet and adversely affecting the rest of his community. That's, that's shitty. And I don't promote that. And the video that I made, despite the fact that these items, probability is that they were duplicated or, or gotten in some ill capacity, I've made content with them that I hope will add to our community, not take away from it. So if someone comes along, they see the video, they see the nice, shiny, interesting infusions that help character customization that is unique to Guild Wars 2. They see that, and if it inspires them to jump into the community, if it inspires them to jump into that kind of content, if it inspires them at all to even just have a look and join in and go and talk to Teapot because I promote the Hardstuck community on the video as well, then it's a win. It's a win out of a shitty situation. So I, I want to keep the video up. People are saying, oh, you're promoting duping. No, I'm not. Not a word of duping in the video, not a word of it. I did thank a man who has been accused and banned for that practice, but nothing in the video, save his name, which I think I've removed all by now, save his name promotes anything other than honest, legitimate, wholehearted gameplay in a game that I love and want to support. So I want to keep it up and I want some good to come from this little video. If, if only one person decides that they're going to jump into the community or try this kind of content, I'm going to take it as a win to balance out in some tiny way the shitty crappiness that comes when people try to manipulate markets in games. So that's my stance. Agree? Disagree? Think I'm a cheating asshole? Let me know in the comments below. We come to the end of my first, really, I think this is the first, like, truly non-scripted thing I've done on the channel. And now you understand why I script everything. So that's my thoughts on the situation. If you have an opinion on the topic, if you want to comment on how I handle the situation, if you want to tell me why you think I should or shouldn't take the video down, sure, have at Hoss in the comments below. I'll read them, I'll reply. It's funny because this is the first time that I've ever on a large scale reached out for someone else's help while making my content. And it's gonna be the fucking last as well. Okay, that's it. Hopefully catch you in a normal video next time.